Andy here. Day two for the spoilers of Jumpstart. You have to remember that Jumpstart it's a particular set which is not standard legal. That means that the cards that are being spoiled for Jumpstart you cannot use them in standard unless they are already in a standard set. Let's start with the spoilers of day two. Let's start with this particular basic land, this particular place. I really love the artwork of this particular basic land place. And I have to tell you the truth, I can't wait to have one in foil of this particular card. I really like the artwork. Archmander 2 and 1 blood set 2 3 human wizard. When it enters the battlefield, return a target artifact from your graveyard to your hand. Trust Retriever 3 and 1 white. It's a 2 3, it's a dock. When it enters the battlefield, you choose one. You put a plus 1 plus 1 counter on Trust Retriever or return target artifact or enchantment from your graveyard to your hand. Explore 1 and 1 green. You may play an additional land this turn. You draw a card. Living Lightning 3 and 1 red, it's a 3-2. When it dies, return target instant or sorcery card from your graveyard to your hand. Sanguine Vampire 3 and 2 black, it's a 4-4, it has flying. Whenever a creature dealt damage by Sanguine Vampire this turn dies, you put a plus 1 plus 1 counter on it. Release the dogs 3 and 1 white, it's a sorcery. You create 4 1-1 one, one white dog creatures tokens. Vren Run Vanquisher, 1 and 1 green, it's a 3-3, three, three. Elf Warrior. As an additional cost to cast the spell, reveal an Elf card from your hand or copy 3, it has that touch. Wall of Blossoms, 1 and 1 green, it's a 0-4, it's a plant wall, it has Defender, when it enters the battlefield you draw a card. Gifted Airborne, this is another reprint. Jumpstars has a lot and a lot of reprints, so be aware if you have cards in your collection that have certain value, if they get reprinted, and they will get reprinted the value will drop and we will see some interesting reprints. Gifted Airborne, 2 black, it's a 2-3, Death Touch and Lifelink. Blood Artist, 1 and 1 black, it's a 0-1. Whenever Blood Artist or another creature dies, target player loses 1 life and you gain 1 life. This particular card has also been recently reprinted as a secret drop in the tattoo pack. Izamaru, Hound of Konda, 1. One white, it's a 2 from Champions of Kamigawa. The only difference in this reprint is that now it's a dog, it's not a hound. Vedelkin Arc Mage 2 and 2 blue, it's a 0 2. Whenever you cast an artifact spell, draw a card. You're going to see a lot of reprints from these rare and also mythics. Scarecrow 3, it's a 1 2, it's an artifact creature, Scarecrow. 1, sacrifice, draw a card. 4, tap, return target artifact creature card from your graveyard to the battlefield. Assault Formation 1 and 1 green, it's an enchantment. Each creature you control assign combat damage equal to its toughness rather than power. 1, one green, target creature with defender can attack this turn as though it didn't have defender. Two and one green creatures you control get plus zero, plus one until end of turn. Elf, elvish arch root, one and two green, it's a two two. Other elves creatures you control get plus one, plus one. Tap for one green for each elf you control. Primordial Sage, four and two green, it's a four five. Whenever you cast a creature spell, you may draw a card. Scourge of Neltot, five and to black, it's a 6-6, six, six, Zombie Dragon, flying. You may cast it from your graveyard by paying two black and sacrificing two creatures rather than paying its mana cost. Liliana's River, 2 and 2 black, it's a 4-3, Death Touch. Whenever this combat damage to a player, that player discards a card and you create a tapped 2-2 two, two black zombie creature token. Grim Lava Mancer, for 1 red, it's a 1-1. One, 1 one red, you tap, exile two cards from your graveyard, it deals 2 damage to any target. Scholar of Lost Trove, 5 and 2 blue, it's a 5-5, five, five. it has flying. Whenever it enters the, the battlefield, you may cast target instant sorcery or artifact card from your graveyard without paying its mana cost. If an instant or sorcery spell casted this way would be put into your graveyard, this turn exile it instead. Verdant Embrace, 3 and 2 green, it's enchantment aura. Enchant creature, enchanted creature get plus 3 plus 3 and has, at the beginning of each upkeep, create a 1-1 one, one green sapling creature token. Ferex Tintrawer, Legendary Land, tap for, for one colorless, tap, sacrifice a creature, you add two black. Magma Quake, X and two red, it's an instant, deals X damage to each creature without flying and each planeswalker. Sherding Sphinx, four and two blue, it's a four four flying. Whenever an artifact creature you control this combat damage to a player, you may create a one one blue top tier artifact creature token with flying. Lightning Felix, 2 and 1 red, it's a 2, it has flying haste, can be blocked at the beginning of your, uh, of your end step, 
If an opponent was dealt three or more damage this turn, you may pay one, one red, if you do return Lightning Felix from your graveyard to the battlefield. Tolerant Sky Summoner, two and two blue, it's a two two. It's a Merfolk Wizard. Whenever you cast an instant or sorcery spell, create a two two blue Drake creature token with flying. Soul of the Harvest, four and two green, it's a six six elemental trample. Whenever another non creature non token creature enters the battlefield under your control, you may draw a card. Riptide Laboratory, from Onslaught and these lands, I really going to get a reprint. You tap for one and for one colorless, one and one blue. You tap, return target which has your control to its owner hand. Rustic Study, two and one blue. This card, this card was a common card, was also reprinted in Mystery Booster Box. Now we get a reprint in this set in Jumpstart as a rare. Obviously, the price of this card will go, go down with more reprints. Whenever an opponent casts a spell, you may draw a card unless that player pays two. So this is a very strong card, reprinted as rare. Ormos Archive Keeper, four and two blue, it's a five, five, flying. If you draw a card while your library has no card in it, instead put five plus one plus one counter on it. One and two blue, discard three cards with different names, draw five cards. Exquisite Blood, another very good card, another valuable card, that is getting a reprint in Jumpstart, four and one black. Whenever an opponent loses life, you gain that much life. Obviously, this card, this card was around 20 to 30 dollars. This card will go down in price with a rare reprint in Jumpstart. So be very, very careful. Another card, another reprint, another card that will go down in price. Oracle of Muldaya, three and one green, it's a two, two. You may play an additional land on each of your turns. Play with the top card of your library revealed. You may play lands from the top card of your library. Also, as I said, this card, this card was around, I think, $40, 40 to $50. Now this card will go down in price. It has been reprinted as rare, not mythic. So the price will go down in price. So if you have copies of this card, just be aware that those copies, the value of those copies have gone down. Unvolt Hydra, four and two green, the first mythic reach its power and toughness are equal to the number of lands you control when it enters the battlefield you may search your library for a land card put into the battlefield tap then shuffle your library drana laborator of malakir one and two black it's a two three flying first strike when it deals combat damage to a player put a plus one plus one counter on each attacking creature you control this is the first this is another mythic card Another reprint, Rise of the Dark Rams, another mythic card, another reprint, seven and two black, sorcery, put all creatures card from all graveyard onto the battlefield under your control. Selvala Heart of the Wilds, one and two green, it's a two three. We know Selvala, another reprint, the price of this card was skyrocketing, I think it reached around $60, now it's going down in price with this reprint, another reprint even after the, most, the mystery booster boxes. Whenever another creature is on the battlefield, its controller may draw a card. If its power is greater than each other creature's power, for one green, you tap, you add X mana in any combination of cards where X is the greatest power among creatures you control. Caterhoof Behemoth, five and three green, another very important reprint. $70 was the price of this card. And now, obviously, with this reprint, it will go down in price. At least it's a mythic, so I would estimate that it will will stabilize at around 30 to 40 dollars haste when it enters the battlefield creatures you control gains trample and get plus x plus s until end of turn when x is the number of creatures you control towering titan four and two green and when it enters the battlefield enters the battlefield with x plus one plus one counters on it where x is the total toughness of other creatures you control sacrifice a creature with defender or creatures gain trample until end of turn go caller gisa three and two black it's a three four for one black, you tap, you sacrifice another creature, create X to two black zombie creatures token where X is, is the sacrifice creature's power. Allosaurus Shepard, it can be countered. For one green, it's a one one, it can be countered. Green spells you control can't be countered. Four and two green until end of turn, each elf creature you control has base power and toughness of five five and becomes a dinosaur in addition to the other types. This is a very strong mythic. This is the last card spoiled for Jumpstars today, day two. Allosaurus Shepard, I think this is one of those cards that will see a lot and a lot of play because it's a very important mythic card. Being can be countered, creatures you control can be countered. So Mono Green will have a very strong card. Remember that the cards in this set, 
they are not standard legal. Only cards that are currently standard legal that features in Jumpstart can be played in standard, the other cards cannot. So, Alosaurus Shepherd, Caterheft, Behemoth, those they cannot be played in standard. As always, throw the arrow, stay tuned to my channel for more and more spoilers about Jumpstart and any news about Magic the Gathering and the collectible world.